What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people be asking me about O Block. Uh, recently, they name kind of been trending on the internet because of something that had happened lately. I guess two guys came on a tour visit to visit O Block. Um, the O legend that they from London or UK or something like that. The more I did my homework, I realized that they actually in the States. They came from the States. I guess they were born in London or something like that, but they really live out here. But the fact is, I guess, you know, they is from overseas or from a different country, whatever the hell you want to call it. But uh, they recently took like a visit to O Block. These guys were super ecstatic. They were happy as hell to finally visit their idols, their mentors and shit like that. They got out there. They got a chance to meet Duke. They got a chance to meet Muwap, BJ, and a lot more O'Blockians and a few Lamron niggas that was out there in O'Block. These guys felt like they was on top of the world. It was a point in the video where you seen the guy shedding water out his eyeballs. He was literally crying like he ran ran into Prince or Michael Jackson when really he ran into some hood street nigga who don't even have a video on YouTube. They're just some videos from like Instagram live for game banging shit and thug shit. But for some reason, these guys feel like they ran into Tom Cruise or Denzel Washington. And I understand it a little bit. You got to understand that in Chicago, uh, it's two music industries, okay? You got the real music industry that got like the Migos, Baby, Drake, Future in it. Then you got the Chicago music industry where you can be as big as them, but you don't need as much as a fan base. You know, these guys I looked at as famous. Some of them even got 20,000 followers, 30,000, 40,000. They not in the millions yet, but for some reason, they name is viral. If that doesn't give you an inside look at how dangerous it is in Chicago, I don't know what to say. You know, you might not know who these people is, but these people know exactly who you are. You can be caught in situations where you caught lacking like, serious. And then the internet portray things. It's, it's like an illusion. You know, it's very deceptive in the drill culture because if you're from Chicago, some people see some of them guys who they cry at as thugs, goons, who fucking up the community, who need to do something better. You know, but on the outside looking in, these guys are looked at like Jay-Z, Nas, you know, the superstar singers and shit. So that's just showing you how big the drill coach is getting. It created a whole sound. It got a lot of rappers famous from Chicago. They probably didn't get rich, but they got famous. The drill coach made a lot of rappers from New York rich and famous. It also created a sound in London and the UK, you know. So these guys are looked at as legends, whether you want to believe it or not. O Block is a real tourist attraction when it comes to these young people in the streets. I don't know about you, but when you was younger, you probably wanted to run into Michael Jackson or somebody like that. These kids want to run into Muwap and DQ, you feel me? And they bust in tears when they do it. It's just letting you know the Chicago culture is crazy. You got to be real careful because... Nowadays, in this era, ain't a lot of fathers around, ain't a lot of brothers around, ain't a lot of men around. So a lot of these kids is getting raised by this rap music. Now, I'm not trying to be funny when I say this, but you got to get a grip in your kid's life because you cannot let Muwap and DQ teach them how to be men. And that's no disrespect to those guys because they young. But right now, they kind of got to get back the revenge mentality. And we don't really want the next generation growing up with that kind of mentality. You feel me? We got to be better than this, Chicago. But shout out them boys from the O because I do think a lot of them guys could really do this shit on the music side. They got a huge fan base. They shoot videos. They put them on YouTube. They get promotion. A lot of these guys is entrepreneurs and marketers and future rap stars. They just don't got the proper guidance, if you ask me. But I'm not going to lie. I do find that shit pretty dope that these street dudes do all their work to make their music pop you know i think some of these dudes could really turn into managers and business owners and record label owners and shit like that because a lot of these street dudes got the mind but i appreciate the love subscribe to my youtube channel it's the homie truth teller the street reporter blah, 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 blah.